In this session, I'd like to talk about bit banging, and that's probably not a term that you've heard before, so let's explain exactly what it is we're talking about. There are many situations in embedded programming where it's necessary to change the value of specific bits in a register without changing the values of any other bits. For example, you might be writing code that needs to wiggle one or two pins in an I.O. port, but someone else is planning to use the remaining signals in the same port. Neither of you can know ahead of time what the other is planning to do. So whenever you modify the registers that control your one or two bits, you must be very careful not to disturb the bits being used by other software functions. You may want to force certain bits to have a value of 1 while leaving other bits at their original value. Or you may want to force certain bits to have a value of 0 while leaving other bits at their original value. And sometimes you don't care about the actual value of a bit. You just want to flip a 0 to a 1 or a 1 to a 0. That's an easy way to blink an LED, for example. An important part of the bit banging concept is how we specify which bits we want to manipulate. We use what's called a mask, which is often a defined constant, but can also be a value in a register. The important point is that the mask needs to have a bit set to 1 in the bit positions corresponding to the bit positions you want to modify, and a 0 in all bit positions that should remain unchanged. Let's look at forcing bits to 1. The OR operation is used to force bits to 1. Notice that if either input to an OR gate is set to 1, then the output must be 1. If we OR any value with a mask that has bits set to 1, then the result must have 1s in the same bit positions as the ones in the mask. Where there are zero bits in the mask, the output will have the same values, zero or one, as the original input value. In C, the single pipe is the bitwise OR operator. Be careful, though, because C has a logical OR operator that is the double pipe. The difference is that the bitwise operator treats the operands as strings of bits, while the logical operator treats them as Boolean true-false values. So suppose we have loaded the value of the mask, a hexadecimal 0110, into register 0, and we have some data values in registers 1 and 3 that we want to manipulate. The bitwise OR instruction in ARM assembly language is spelled ORR -R because the basic instructions have three character mnemonics. Here we have the three operand form of the instruction where there are two source operands which are ORed together and the result is then loaded into the destination register. As expected, the bit locations in the result values that correspond to bit locations that are one in the mask are forced to a 1, regardless of their original value. We may want to force bits to a 0, and the AND operation is used to do that. Notice that if one input to the AND operation is a 0, then the output, the result, must be 0. And if one input to the AND operation is a 1, then the output must be the same as the other input. Because a zero in the mask forces a bit in the result to be zero, we need to invert the mask before we use it. After performing a bitwise complement on the mask, we end up with bits that are zero in the mask where we want to force a bit to zero, and bits that are one in the mask where we want to preserve the original bit values. In C, the tilde is the bitwise not operator, and a single ampersand is the bitwise and operator. If we already have a mask value in R0 as before, we need to invert it before performing the and operation. The move not instruction does this, and since we specified the same register as the source and destination, the result will actually overwrite the original mask value with the inverted value. 
As expected, when we perform the AND operation, the bits and bit locations in the result that correspond to bit locations of the ones in the original mask are forced to be zero regardless of their initial values. Forcing bits to zero is such a common thing to do that the ARM instruction set provides a special instruction to do this without explicitly inverting the mask. The bit clear or BIC instruction performs a bitwise inverse of the last operand to the instruction and then performs a bitwise AND of the inverted last operand with the other operand. The result is exactly the same as the move not AND sequence except that we didn't need an extra instruction to invert the mask. This is particularly helpful if we want to use the same mask for different purposes. It's also handy if you want to specify the mask as an immediate value because the mask will typically have just a few bits that are ones and therefore can be specified as an immediate operand, whereas the inverse of the mask will have many ones and few zeros, making it unlikely that it can be used as an immediate operand. The exclusive OR operation is used to toggle or flip a bit. Notice that if one input to the exclusive OR operation is a one, then the result is the opposite, the complement of the original value of the other input. On the other hand, if one input is a zero, then the output, the result, is just the same as the other input. In C, the circumflex is the exclusive OR operator. This character may also be called the caret or the hat. We don't need to invert the mask. And as expected, when we perform the exclusive OR operation, the bit locations in the result values that correspond to the bits that are ones in the mask are flipped. In C, we have a shorthand way of doing bit banging that's called a compound assignment. Basically, we combine a bitwise logical operator with the assignment and the variable on the left-hand side of the assignment is also used as the first operand on the right-hand side. So the compound assignments are exactly equivalent to the statement shown here. The compound assignment is just a shorthand method that we can use when we want to overwrite the original value of the variable. The two operand form of the assembly language instructions is similar to the compound assignment in C. The first operand, the destination register, is also used as one of the source operands for the instruction, and the result replaces the original value in the destination register. As expected now, each instruction modifies the destination register bits that correspond to one bits in the mask. What are the key points about bit banging? Remember that we usually set a bit to a 1 in a mask to modify corresponding bit positions in some other register. That we use the OR instruction or the OR operator to force bits to 1. In C and assembly language we can use a move not AND sequence to force bits to a 0, but in assembly language we can get by with just using the bit clear instruction to force bits to a 0. And finally, that the exclusive OR instruction, or exclusive OR operator, is used to invert specified bits. Now you know how to do bit banging. Thanks for watching.